Today's top tip is all about snacking the healthy way. It's Iowa and Iowa State football season. Whether you are tailgating or having friends over, sometimes football food is just not the healthiest snacking option. What about when you're at work and your tummy is grumbling at 2 o'clock in the afternoon? In these situations, you want to reach for a snack to help satisfy your hunger, but what snack should you pick? Often the quick fixes in the vending machine or the seven different types of dip choices during tailgating are not the most nutritious. So which snacks are healthy and which ones should you avoid? Well, the healthiest and best snacks are foods that are nutrient dense and in their simplest form. A nutrient dense food is one that has a high vitamin and mineral to calories ratio. For example, an apple is a healthier snack than sweetened apple chips, and a chicken breast is healthier than buffalo chicken dip because the former options are nutrient dense and in their simplest form. Other examples of healthy snack options are fresh fruits and vegetables, unsalted rice cakes, whole grain bread, unsalted nuts, and low fat cheeses and yogurts. There are some things to be weary of when deciding what snack to have, especially when you're standing in the snack and chip aisle in the grocery store, where lots of packages say that they are healthy, but may in fact not be. First off, be careful of snacks that say lower or reduced, whether it would be lower fat or reduced sodium, etc. In order for companies to receive this label, they had to take out only 25% of a certain component. So even though it says it's lower fat chips compared to the original item, it can in fact have a lot more fat or calories or salt than other food options. Secondly, don't forget about serving sizes when it comes to snacks. Make sure to read the label to see what the recommended serving size is before buying the product. For example, a snack that has 100 calories per serving can be a great choice. But if you don't know the serving size, then you may end up eating two to three servings or more by accident. Thirdly, don't make assumptions about what is healthy and what is not without first looking at the food label. Often, we want to avoid certain processed chemicals, and if we have trouble with wheat, gluten-free may be our only option. But remember, just because something is natural or gluten-free doesn't necessarily mean that it's healthy. As always, make sure to read the food label to see what ingredients are in your food and where the calories are coming from. So does that mean that you have to snack on rice cakes during the entire football season or only eat carrots during work hours? Well, while these are great options, it's also important not to feel like you're snacrificing when it comes to your food choices. Use moderation often and mix more of the healthy stuff with the not so healthy stuff when it's too hard to say no. For example, you may be craving that buffalo chicken dip we talked about earlier. Have some, but use celery sticks instead of chips or crackers. There are lots of healthy swaps and small steps that you can take towards more healthy snacking. To learn more about healthy choices, visit www.choosemyplate.gov. This has been a Wellness at Iowa DOT Top Tip. For more information about our wellness team, please visit our page on .net.